and yet more black foolishness <laughs> from Tyler Perry. I mean, Tyler Perry keep black people in Hollywood working, boy. I mean, in this movie, he pulled out black people who ain't worked in years. Louis Gossett Jr. is in this. Oh, yeah. Cicely Tyson. Well, he, Cicely he, Tyson? He always yeah. Cicely Tyson in his movies. Damn, okay, well, was, I would know because this is my first Tyler Perry Is this Perry your first movie. Tyler Perry? It is. And, you know. You got off light, dude. I, that's what that's what it seems like because surprisingly, at least for up to a certain point in this film, I was like, you know, this isn't so bad. I don't see what everybody's bitching about. <laughs> oh. I, this is your first Tyler Perry movie. It is. No, wait. I uh, wait a minute. Hold on. How, how terrifying was it for you being that there was a whole theater full of screaming black women? Really? Are you serious? We go see horror films all the time at, <laughs> at free sneak previews. I've yeah. seen a few like that. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> is, is it, isn't it the best surround sound that you can possibly have in a movie, especially especially when you have a black woman in the in the back of you repeating every line that's being nope. said on screen? It's an odd <laughs> it's like, echo. Like a, like a running DVD commentary. I was going to say, it's a, <laughs> apparently the only movie that comes with its own built-in commentary track. <laughs> Thankfully, the, most of that crowd was sitting way in the back, so I could kind of hear them and laugh at them, but I could actually hear the movie at the same time. That it was just the one large black woman right behind me. Or anything mildly funny, she did an applause with her feet on the ground every time. Ooh! Well, that that black chick behind me was sitting like I think she was in the uh, in the next theater, and I could fucking hear her like it was right next to me. I See, was like, whoa! That's what George Lucas needs, needs to do. Forget all this technology. Just hire a bunch of black people to go in every theater. It'd be like the BLX audio system. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. What you looking at, motherfucker? <laughs> well, you know, he's always releasing, uh, you know, new releases of Star Wars. Now he'll have one like Star Wars in a black theater. <laughs> when C-3PO comes on, he's like, oh, that nigga gay. <laughs> I, I'm a little too afraid to go hang out at that theater. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little too afraid to go to that part of town. <laughs> yeah, Darth Vader, that's a lightsaber for your ass. <laughs> so with this movie, I'm, I've seen almost every Tyler Perry movie except for Why Did I Get Married? That's the only one I have not seen, and I didn't get to see the sequel either. What's so funny is that why, did, why Did I Get Married is, you know, different than most of his other movies because they don't go to church. There's no singing in it. Well, he said, he said himself that, you know, while he is very seriously Christian, he understands that not everybody, you know, is like as into that as he is. And he wanted to make a movie where, you know, it didn't come down to just going to church to solve your problems. Right. Yeah, I, I was so waiting for Black Jesus to make a cameo at some right. point in this movie. <laughs> and I was like, where, he, he's not in this. Like, just like Medea, she's not in this either. What the hell? Yeah. I think Tyler Perry is leading to his movie Black Jesus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, it's it's sort of like him saying, like, hey, you know what? Those movies like Me, You, and Everyone We Know or uh, Mike and Ted and Carol and Doug or whatever. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it has to feel like, okay, you start out to make, like, hey, well, how about a, a, indie com- a indie comedy about a bunch of, you know, married folk, a dramedy more like it, who are all getting together? Except it's Tyler Perry, who's not the most experienced or most talented director. I mean, the guy's great about pulling things together and getting things done. Yeah. Apparently so. He has, like, uh, I think there's uh, Tyler Perry land now. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got a kingdom. That's the only thing that's next for him. But, you know, as a director, his skills... um, they, they, you know, they leave much to be desired. I'm told they're steadily increasing. They are. Like there's markedly not noticeable that he's getting better as a director. True. But once again, I wouldn't know. I can tell you this. This was competently done. I didn't. For I the thought there was part. only a few points where, as a director, I went, you know, oh wow, that was a really awkward decision to make or something. Yeah. Well, this is the type of movie that it, it's not. I mean, he's not shooting Star Wars. Right. He's no. shooting couples talk, and you know how how crazy how can you fuck that up really. But what I what I what but what I thought well I thought that you know where he really scored was the tension he kept building on and building on and building on. I mean, every scene you're like, Oh, okay, this seems to be a bit lighthearted and then a couple announces how you know, the funny thing about this movie is every couple has a fucking problem and it's like one after the other where you're like, Man, you know, one couple's going, Well, at least we're not them. Hey baby, I got something to tell you. <laughs> 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 And, well, and, that's, okay. and that's what's well, great well, about well, this well, movie. Well, okay, what look. is this about? Because okay, look, you, like you, saw the, well, you saw the first one. Now yeah, we, now. It, it's, a, it's, about, it's about four couples, four married couples, who every year, like Janet Jackson is, is, a, is a, a marriage counselor therapist who, write, you know, a best-selling author. Dancer. <laughs> and, and her character, you know, she like sponsors these things where these four best, these four couple best friends get together and have like a marriage retreat just among themselves, like a, some vacation. And they get together and they talk things out and there's some drama back and forth. Now, in the first movie, uh, one of the, the big stories was between uh, Jill Scott and her husband, Richard T. And Brooks. Jill Scott is the singer. Right. It, it, the, right the, the overweight in real singer. Life, the overweight yeah, singer. Sheila right. and Marcus, I believe, were their names. Okay, yeah, I think so. you're right. And and he was very abusive to her. Like, you know, like when Tyler Perry writes 
a, a, a evil black guy. He just makes him just so mean and nasty. He does everything but tie women to a railroad track. <laughs> and, and like you know, in the first one, the like, Tina Turner like, story. Well, the thing is, he, <laughs> he, he writes them like to me. It's like so over the top. I end up liking those characters because the shit they say. He's like. Damn, that's cold. <laughs> oh, yeah, because in her situation, like the black guy that she was married to, because I saw the stage play for this, which oh, okay. is much different from this. Well, yeah, uh, he, like, that like, dude in the opening like, scene, he was, he was so mean to her. He's with her best friend on an airplane. She gets tossed off for being too fat. And he's like her husband. He doesn't even like try to go with her. Or, he makes fun of her too. Like I told you, too big. That's why they threw your fat ass off here. I kid, thought this is uh, Kevin Smith. I'm not sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, what, what, it's like, it's like you, you big black Kevin Smith. Like, oh, you gotta go there. <laughs> and, and he wasn't even like willing to pay for her to the, for the extra seat. He like, I ain't paying for you here. You take the car and drive and meet us there. And I'm gonna sit here with your best friend. He he just dogs out every chance he gets. Now we get to a new movie, same couples again. This time they're going to the Bahamas. Not the same couples now. Well, no, no, no. She's got her new. She's, she's got, got her a, new husband, who she met in the previous film, right, right. while he up. was cheating off with her best friend. Right, yeah. right. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of black people in here, <laughs> and a lot of people, white people don't even know who they are. So yeah, there's just I'm, black people. Like, are you, you going to wrap this up and like? You, no, yeah, I'm not saying yes. you go going too long. I'm saying, is there a way to like make this like uh, to, to sum up this? No, but I have no. a roadmap. Well, well, it's I'm, a Tyler I'm not Perry movie. I'm not going to listen to everybody who's in the cast, but I'm saying what carries over from the last movie is that they. They find a new vacation spot, which is Jamaica, and Jill Scott with her new husband. They have a little tension because he can't find work, but the couple's all together, and then suddenly her ex-husband, Richard Brooks, walks in. On the, He's like, hey, I, I pay for this timeshare, too. I'm just going to hang out with y'all. Is and that the like, old evil husband? Yeah. 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 And everybody's like, man, yeah. what are you doing here? Why, why are you doing this? And the guys, you know how we guys are. Like, a guy could be an asshole, but he's your buddy, and you, you know your girlfriend or wife might be like, why are you hanging with him? You're like... And he's my friend. That's just what I do. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't kick him out. So he's a big thorn in everybody's side. Plus, he's trying to, like, say, like, you know, I was wrong to let you go. I want to get back together with you. So you can imagine, like, they all trapped in his <laughs> you house. You fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's not the only subplot going no, on no, in this there's, movie there's at tons. all. <laughs> there's, like, they six more. They could call more. the subplots the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, the thing is, it starts out like the black version of Couples Retreat with them on the beach. Yeah. And to me, I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys felt differently. That's the stuff that I thought was kind of awkward. They're trying to do comedy. It's not always working. I was because like, it felt more like fly in the wall than written comedy. It was a bunch of dudes hanging out on the beach talking, and they're not really funny. Yeah, with, with I, Tyler Perry laughing at all his jokes that yes. he wrote in the script. He's yeah. like the only one laughing in the scene where these guys are just shooting the shit. You know, you got Michael J. White's character, who's like a newscaster, who, all, like, the way he speaks is, it's like he's doing his show. He's like, well, if you were going to run by the sideline, and their friends are like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? That's about the only. <laughs> and Tyler Perry is the, the only one like laughing, like ha <laughs> ha. He's the only <laughs> motherfucker laughing through this whole. Tyler Perry looks at the camera like, yeah. I wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He almost pretty does. much, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. With, and he'll interrupt by going, oh, "You crazy? Oh man, you do look crazy, man. Crazy. Ooh. I've never seen water that clear. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ooh. It's your first time here. Yeah. The Bahamas are great, man. It's paradise down here. I'm telling you. Man, I needed this break. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I've uh, been watching your show. You're looking good, baby. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yeah, you know, but for every good day I have at work, I got to go home and go through hell. That's Angela. See, why? Like, she hates the fact that I'm working. Ain't no black woman complaining about her man having a job. Man. I don't care what you say. Are you kidding me? You man, Angela. Well, there's women, and then there's Angela. Michael J. White is the only funny guy in the whole thing. I mean, his wife is so obnoxious, you want to come and, you know, go through the screen and strangle her. Shut up, you fucking obnoxious bitch! <laughs> no, black, bl black people would want to strangle her and kill oh, her I in mean, the theater. The she be that You're chick. talking about Tasha Smith yeah. from the first movie. Oh, he's oh, also in, she was in Couples Retreat. Yeah. 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 He's That's the right size now. of a house, and yeah. you know what? No one would forgive him if he acted accidentally killed her as it were <laughs> you know what did i do i swung my arm back she was there broke I mean, her neck look no, at me my know, arms are the size of tree trunks we would all understand <laughs> we would we would be like in what scary movie where they started applauding when they killed that one black chick exactly. for talking to the theater we the whole audience would be applauding if that chick were to just die <laughs> but, but she, you know what she manages to be like as obnoxious as she is because i thought she was even more so in the first movie I found her somewhat entertaining this time. It's like she, she just pushed it to that level that was just so out the box. It, it's like, okay, I can't take this seriously on any level except to see how funny it is. Well, see, that's what it is about a Tyler Perry movie. I have to say that every Tyler Perry movie I've been in, I have to agree with you, it's not that well directed. It's it's over the top in its soap opera aspects. Sure. But it's that soap opera stuff that makes you want to watch because you, you know this person's a cartoon that you're looking at. 
but you hate them so much. You want to see them get that come up. It's all right. This person's been being treated so bad, and nobody will be treated that bad in real life, not either walk away or kill the person that they're with. Right. Do you actually at some point find yourself getting wrapped up in these characters? Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, all, you do. All, honestly, there's a scene where they're on the beach, probably like their last scene on the beach, where with Louis, Louis Gossett and Cicely Tyson. And they're they're an old old married couple, and they talk, and I found it like really touching, like I like I had water well up in my eyes. Yeah, it is a good scene. And, and, the, and, the, <laughs> and the movie got so much better after that. Like they come back home, like hey, they had this retreat, everybody's happy. They come back home to the real world and their real problems, and it just starts to get dark after. Well, it gets real dark. Well, the thing is, it gets dark during right after that scene with Louis Gossett Jr. Because That's as right. soon as he leaves that that little soapbox they have there, you see Janet Jackson get up with her boy and. She's like, well, I have an announcement to make. Um, we're getting a divorce, and her husband is looking right next, like right at yeah, her, going, like, "What, what we're the doing fuck? What? Yeah. We, we are? <laughs> yeah." He's well, like, hey, "What she, the shit? Hey, she's the divorce counselor." Well, that's yeah. the thing they've been saying the whole time. Like everybody else has their problems. She always like, "Oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine." You can start to see like she's trying to hold back her tears. Like something's wrong. You don't know what it is. Yeah. What is it that's wrong? Yeah. And they wait till almost the end of the film to reveal it because they, they they leave the camera off them for a long time. Mm -hmm. And when it comes back to them, it just goes nuts. She steps she out in, in such a way you're like, oh, my God, Janet Jackson is really, really great in this movie. I mean, sure, she has a writer and a contract that must say, make sure I've got all my cleavage exposed in every shot well, so people don't notice my gigantic <laughs> Walmart butt. Yeah, her, her boy, did she well, fill yeah. out. What a thing. Her, yeah. like, I almost missed the first half of the movie because her tits fill the entire screen. Oh, my yeah, God. They yeah, do. Crazy. Her yeah. tits were trying to escape Alcatraz. <laughs> like, <laughs> trying to buzz down. Barely restrained. Yeah. They were using spirit gum to her. I mean, they literally they are bigger than her head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, in the second half, she's it's really dramatic. The relationship between her and her soon-to-be um, ex-husband plays her, her husband. Is, is really interesting to watch. You're waiting for it to play out in an interesting way. The biggest problem with this film is they don't have a solution. Yeah. Instead, they, they resort to really Grand Guignol, kind of. They just go, what's the most crazy, ridiculous, dramatic thing we could think of to do here? And then that will resolve it in no way at oh, all. Oh, yeah. And, and Except and that it, there's no way. It, you know, it just and it leaves it you going, "What the fuck?" And, and the so way it's did. resolved is almost ri so ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, it goes it, way it, off it the It seems rails. like a, it seems more that ending seems more like something out of a slasher film. It's a case where if Tyler Perry can't solve everything with Jesus, he don't know what to do. <laughs> <No>. Maybe it <laughs> is. Well, well, exactly. Do you notice that he has the hottest wife in this oh, whole yeah. series? Like, the hottest. Yeah. 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 I don't. know. I can't remember the, the actress's name, but apparently I've she's never seen her before. She's right. half black, half Asian, and she yeah. is fucking gorgeous. Yeah, I wish I could remember her name. That was Tyler Perry's problem. He's like, he fucked up his marriage. He's like, I'd like to make a confession. I'm a uh, transvestite who dresses yeah. up like a big I old know. black woman. All, 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 all I was thinking was like, how can this chick sleep with this guy? Hasn't she seen like all his movies? Like, how can you not look right next to you and realize I'm fucking Medea? Oh. He's not that bad, but he has the biggest head of anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, I does. mean, he's, his head is like proportionally bigger than like somebody in a Disney costume. Oh, Tyler. Uh, yeah, Tyler Perry is not a small guy. He's a big guy. But even with, even to, for being a big guy, he has a huge head. But, but no, his head is big, man. <laughs> he's like a living one of the, what do they call those? those Easter Island No, heads. No, no, no. The, those heads, that the wobble heads, the yeah, bobble heads. Yeah, head yeah, he's a oh, living yeah. bobble head. What's Don't, funny is yeah. the other guys in this movie are all in great physical shape, and they spend the whole first half of the movie with their shirts off. He takes off his shirt once in the whole thing, and it's like from a distance. Yeah. And they're like, well, oh, put it back yeah. on. Don't, 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 get, don't get Tyler Perry and Janet Jackson in the same scene. <laughs> you, you have one big head trying to com like compete against the giant pair of titties. Yeah. That yeah. The screen can't even feel that. No. <laughs> That's a whole other Tyler Perry movie. Yeah. Tyler Perry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Janet Jackson called on Well, that's true. I mean, if he was yeah. to ever nurse from her, it had to be on IMAX. <laughs> Tyler Perry's head and Janet Jackson's cleavage it's like a docking station. Yeah. To it's like the Enterprise docking. Yeah, right. Seriously, I couldn't look at anything else on the screen. No, you, like, oh well, you didn't God. have much choice. It was like 75% of the image. This movie is crazy. got too many people in it. got too many crazy, crazy situations. I can't keep up with this shit. What, what, what would y'all give it? I, I, honestly, there, there was a point in it where I was like, you know what? This thing is raised up to a matinee. I can't believe I'm saying this. But uh, between where it goes in the third act and the ending, which – 
was like it's the biggest WTF I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, I have to go rail on it. Yeah, you took, took the words right out of my mouth. Except I would have said low matinee. I was like, I'm surprised that I'm up at this point. But you know, yeah, this actually isn't bad at all. But man, wow, when it goes off the rails, <laughs> it just leaves. The, it's not even in sight of the original train track. Uh, obviously, at the end of the film, it gear, it's gearing itself for another film. And uh, if it does, this is the Empire Strikes Back <laughs> of of this uh, whole series. Oh, this series. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know uh, the, the 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 stakes are higher. You know, people are people are dying. You know, it's, but uh, no, this this film uh, it, it was really enjoyable because I wasn't expecting it to be as fucking crazy as it was. So I have to give this a high man only because this was like watching this wow. was like this was like watching a Vietnam film taking place at at Hotel Rwanda wherever the hell they were vacationing only to end up becoming like Rambo First Blood where you go back home and then the now, real mess starts now see thank you now you realize why I give every Tyler Perry movie I see a matinee because I know it's bad but I still have fun oh yeah every one of them y'all had me like uh, on a cliffhanger here the, the movie ends with what some the one of the w- weirdest most out of place awkward cameos ever for a major actor who you know they're setting up to be like one of the big people in the next one. I mean, it's very obvious, but it's so ridiculous that I was just laughing my ass off. I was like, Tyler Perry, I got to hand it to you. You are batshit crazy. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they, they tease it. They show him in shadow, you know, they're waiting for the camera to come around. It cuts right before. And then finally, when they reveal it, I was like, are, are you serious? Oh, wait a minute. What? A- a- what? It, uh, was it Barack Obama? Ooh, that's that's close. That is oh. close. Uh, that that you don't that, it, don't, no, don't, don't no it, don't don't spoil it for the audience. It was George Bush. <laughs> no, I'll Come spoil it. Come on, Nick Ross, we gonna go get Bin Laden. I'll that spoil it. I'll Obama. spoil it. It was Medea. You're crazy. I'll show you exactly what you're doing.